Good day and welcome. This is your Daily Med with Lady V. It is session 22. It is the last stanza in Psalm 119. Today we're at verse 129 to the final verse, verse 176. In today's session, we will see that the word of God provides or it makes provision for our return to our Savior. Yes, it is the last prayer of David in this psalm. May it be a prayer unto us today and that we will use it also as our prayer. The psalmist is still seeking audience and taking his petitions to God. He is here imploring God in the first um, session of this prayer. And he says unto him, let my cry come before you. He need God's help. He is wanting to be sought out. The scripture says, as a sheep by the good shepherd. So he says in verse 169, hear me and pay attention to my prayer. I have done nothing else and sought after no one else but you. I come with humble confidence, he says, and ask you, O oh God, to hear me. He says, give me understanding according to your word. Because the spiritual understanding is in the word of God. Truth is in the word of God. And he understood that he was being falsely accused or judged by man. But here he's saying, God, your word is truth. And I desire truth, that which gives understanding. Verse 170, he says, let my supplication come before thee as you deliver me according to your word. He's saying, God, I'm entreating you. I am begging you. Let my prayer for deliverance from my enemies, from the adversaries, from those who persecute me. Let it come before you. All this is in accordance to what you have promised in your word. So his prayer was being made in accordance with the word of God. And prayers that are made in accordance with the word of God are the prayers that get answered. Because he says, my word shall not come back to me empty or unfulfilled, but it will accomplish that which I have purposed, that which I have ordained for it to do. In verse 171, he says, my lips will utter Praise when I am taught your statutes. He's saying, not for any selfish gain, I am coming to you. So there will be no pride, but there will be praise. My lips will utter praise when I am taught your statutes. He says, all day long, I will continually praise you. In yesterday's yes, he says, seven times a day. I will give you praise. So the psalmist lived a life of obedience to the word of God and a life of gratitude for the word of God, which is the blessings of God. Wholeheartedly, he said he wants to praise his God for his righteous ordinances. We sing praises unto God. I probably hear him saying, oh, how I love Jesus. Father, oh, how I love your laws. In verse 172, he says, my tongue shall speak of thy word, for all your commandments are righteous. 
the psalmist uh, was praising in the verse ahead of us. Uh, but here he is saying, now I am preaching. My lips uh, was singing praise, uh, but my mouth here now or my tongue is going to testify or to preach about your goodness. It is about him sowing the seeds from the word that he has learned. It is the psalmist telling the world about the word and the works of Jesus Christ, who he is and what he has done. The word is very important, so let us speak it wherever we go. He says, for all the commandments are righteous. Not only standards of right, but the very essence of righteousness. The law is holy, Paul says. The commandment is holy, it is just, and it is good. In 173, he says, let thine hand help me. How many times we cry out to God for help. The psalmist is here doing the same thing. Because he acknowledged that the hand of God is a hand of mercy. The hand of God is a hand of love and of compassion. A hand of power. And therefore, whatsoever he needs, this hand would supply. We remember Peter. When Peter was walking on the water, Peter began to sink. But then he cried out to Jesus. He says, Lord, save me. And Jesus stretched out his hand. And here comes a, a helping hand to save Peter from sinking that very hand of power is outstretched to you and me today if we will just cry out to him lord save me like peter like david today lord help me and deliver me from my adversaries deliver me from mine enemies if we seek his help Surely, help is on the way. The psalmist said he has chosen. It's a conscious decision, a choice he has made to choose the rules of God for his life. Today, we can do the same. He has dedicated his life entirely to the service of of God. Will not God deliver him? Will not God help him? Will not God hear his cry? Certainly he will. Verse 174, I have longed for thy salvation. Your word is my delight. He is saying, God, I have trusted your son Jesus Christ for our salvation. Jesus Christ went to Calvary and he paid the penalty for our sins. Remember the Bible declares the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. So Jesus paid the penalty and he has delivered us by that same cross from the power of sin. But as we speak today, we still continue to live out our salvation in the presence of sin. So while we are still living out our present salvation, the psalmist was saying here, I am longing for my complete salvation. And that is when Jesus Christ comes to remove the saints from the presence of sin sin. Verse 175, he says, let my soul live and I will praise you. He says, preserve me from death. I will praise you. We sing, 
the reason I live is to worship. And to worship, I live. The spiritual life of the psalmist was a life of prayer and praise. That life should be the same life for each and every one of the child of God. A life of prayer, praise, obedience, and thanksgiving to God. Final verse, Psalm 176. I have gone astray, he said, like a lost sheep. He says, seek thy servant, for I do not forget thy commandments. The writer is here now confessing. I have gone astray, willfully, wantonly, hopelessly, and helplessly like a lost sheep. He says, even before I went astray, I did not know your laws well. But when I became afflicted, and your laws have taught me the way that I should live. I am now confessing that as a, like a lost sheep who has wandered away. But because God, you are the good shepherd, he says, restore me. The psalmist also call himself a servant. He is now saying, master, I desire to come back home like that prodigal. David prays. Seek thy servant, for I do not forget your commandments. Restore me like a lost sheep, for I have wandered. I pray today, and may this be the prayer of all of our hearts, as we, like David, pray today, Lord, save me. Lord, Help me, Lord, deliver me. God bless you and thank you again for watching.